Hello, my name's Allie, and I would just like to share with you the story of how I broke the law just to make my crush happy. It all started with meeting Jake, the guy I always noticed in the school hallways and at soccer practice. He mainly caught my attention because of his handsome looks. He had hazel eyes, tanned skin, and a toned body. But what attracted me to him the most was the way he was always smiling at me while passing me in the hallway. Just seeing him for two seconds made my day every time it happened. Until one day, I told Emily that I had a huge crush on Jake. Emily was my best friend, and not telling her about my crush would be impossible. Emily, as her usual self, got excited and said that I should definitely get to know him somehow. She went on and on about how she could make that happen. While I didn't get my hopes up, the thought of just speaking with Jake for a short time made me really excited. The next day at lunch, I searched for Emily at the spot where we usually have lunch together. However, Emily wasn't there. I looked for her again, and when I found her, she was sitting with a bunch of people that I didn't know. When she saw me, she started shouting my name and said, Come meet my new friends. I didn't understand what she was up to, but I knew she had something in mind. I sat down with them and introduced myself. We started chatting while eating our lunch. When suddenly, I realized Jake was walking towards us and took a seat right beside me. I looked at Emily with suspicion. She is so sneaky. But I didn't have time to argue with her. Jake was sitting right next to me, and he had just asked what my name was. I managed to reconcentrate and told him that my name was Allie. He shook my hand and said that my name was beautiful. In my head, I was jumping up and down from excitement. But of course, I acted chill and kept the conversation going. Now, not only did I know he had amazing looks, but his personality was even more impressive. Since that day, we kept on meeting up at the schoolyard and during our lunch breaks. He was really flirtatious, and he kept commenting on my good looks and nice personality. After a while, I started to like him even more and more. However, nothing was happening between us. He didn't even ask me out or make any moves, even though three months had passed since we started talking. I had a feeling that he wasn't into me as much as I thought he was. But I didn't have any idea what to do about that. Until one day, I saw Jake hanging out with another girl from my school. But not just any girl. She was one of the prettiest at our school. He was looking at her like the way he looks at me. I felt so jealous, but I couldn't say anything about it. After that, I don't know what got into me, but I started to act differently. I did everything I could think of to make Jake like me. I dressed better, I was more flirtatious, and I tried to show him in different ways that I liked him. By then, Jake definitely knew that I did, and I noticed that his behavior towards me was changing as well. But not in the way I expected. He'd sometimes make me hang out with his guy friends that I don't like who smoked and did drugs behind the school building. He'd ask me to do homework for him. And one time, I even saw him bullying a kid, and I kept quiet. Slowly, I started to see that Jake was not always a nice person. But I excused his behavior, thinking that he had problems with his parents. One time I was hanging out at night with Jake and his friends, and we went to the grocery store to get some potato chips and Coke. We were about to go to the cashier when Jake and his friends stopped me and said they had a dare, and that they bet I wouldn't do it because I'm lame. The way they were approaching me made me feel uncomfortable and I instantly felt like rejecting whatever they wanted to suggest. But when I looked at Jake, not only did he seem not to mind, he also looked really excited about whatever they wanted to say. They then told me that the dare was that I couldn't steal the most expensive bottle of alcohol at the store without anyone noticing. I was shocked. Is that what Jake really wanted me to do? It just seemed weird to me that he'd put me through that risk if he cared enough about me. Or maybe I was just being a buzzkill. Maybe I was the one who's supposed to loosen up and just have fun. With hesitation, I agreed to take the dare. So I went to the alcohol aisle, checked around me to see if anyone was looking, 
and I quickly grabbed the bottle they asked for, hid it under my coat, and started walking towards the exit where Jake and his friends were waiting. I thought to myself that stealing this bottle turned out not to be as hard as I thought it would. And the closer I got to the door, the less nervous I felt. I knew after this I'd look so cool to Jake and his friends, and they'd see how much of a fun person I can be. And maybe it would actually encourage him to ask me out. When all of a sudden, I heard a loud voice saying, Excuse me, miss. I felt my heart drop and I froze in place. I saw a security man approaching me and said, I just saw you grabbing that bottle. Can you please show me some ID? I turned around and looked at him, then turned my head to see where Jake and his friends were. They were nowhere to be found. I started crying instantly, not because of the security guard, but because I realized that Jake did not care about me and that he was just trying to take advantage of the fact that I liked him. However, the trouble that I was in at the moment made me forget all about Jake and I started to think about what kind of charges I would be facing. The security man took me to a room at the back of the store and explained that they could call the police on me, but they preferred to deal with it between us. They then asked to call my parents and have them come in. My parents apologized on my behalf and reassured the store owner that it wouldn't happen again. They then took me home, and of course I was grounded forever. But the important thing was that I learned that I should never compromise my actions for anyone, even the boy I like. Please share with us in the comment section if you have ever experienced a similar situation. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for further updates.